And we're off. What's going on? No. Fuck. What's going down? What's going down? Why are you rubbing your hands like Burn Man, bro? Because, man, your boy's what back with the drug pristine. Drug. Got the pristine footage. No freezing this time. So, all those Xfinity jokes out the door. Yeah. I'm good now. It was funny, I'm good right? Now. It was funny, no. right? Hold on. No, it wasn't funny. And I'm back. Yeah. <laughs> but nah, yeah. What's uh, good, everybody? It's your boy, Dad, good, man. Everybody, man. It's your boy, Ross, man. Hey, we doing a duo, duo pod. Duo, man. Oh, I think this is. I think this is our first duo pod, man. Yeah, it is. Yes, this is our very first duo years. pod. Yeah, 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 man. Yeah, you know, we wanted to bring y'all some intimate content. You know what I'm saying? Right, so, Ross. getting weird on us, Ross. <laughs> it's not stupid. Do stupid. it. <laughs> You stupid, man. But hopefully everyone out there, once again, is being safe. I'm not sure what states are starting to open up. I know for Texas, they're starting to open things slowly but surely. Yeah, I think Florida, Florida, I believe they started opening up as well. I believe so. I think they've opened up the beaches. And, you know, boys has been like... Oh, yeah, boys in Florida be couldn't wait, bro. Them boys was ready to get out there and get... I think they was going anyway, almost, you know, outside of the... Um, yeah. The one that was really restricting them, but um, or the places mm-hmm. that was restricting them, but yeah, them boys couldn't wait, man. I think they was doing some stuff out in Cali and LA as well. Um, For real? boys ready to get outside, man. I, I mean, I ain't really tripping, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I get it, I, I'm you know ready to get out and stuff too, but you know, it's mm-hmm. not like they're doing that to be an ass or mean, you know what I'm saying? They're doing that for our safety, so um, people just really got to be careful, man, because you, you never know, man, you don't want to be amongst so many people and then you know that shit swirling around and then you know you end up mm-hmm. catching it so they just doing that to keep us safe man um for the most part whatever because people got all these theories you know the the, yeah. the woke people nah man they they planning something they planting something while we all in the group. <laughs> who knows but all i know is i'm staying my ass where i'm at yeah uh i got the uh there's uh actual map is on the new york times it's it's it was updated today on which states are open and which states are still shut down and closed. So, Cali's still shut down. Louisiana is actually still shut down. Louisiana uh, Mexico, had it bad. So yeah, sure. Louisiana is still shut down. A lot of the northeastern states, like New York and uh, New Jersey, not New Jersey, New York, uh, Virginia, Kentucky, Illinois, Midwest, all of them, they're still shut down. Um, we or partially opening, as we said, Florida. There's a lot of, like, the mid, the mid-western states, a lot of them are still kind of, well, they're starting to uh, partially open back up. So, yeah. And Alaska. <laughs> Alaska's one of those states, too. I mean, granted, I don't know if they were, like, really shut down like that, because there's not a lot of people in Alaska, for those yeah. who don't know. Like, Alaska is one of those places where... Man, be quiet over there, man. It ain't even a couple of y'all over there. Just stay away. <laughs> yeah, like, that's pretty much our last people. Hey, I wanted, there Ain't nobody I going there know. anyway. True. I always wanted to know if we had, like, some fans from Alaska. If we actually would have some good, fans bro. in Alaska right right now or at Let's any put point... Put the ice comment. emoji or, or yeah. ice emoji or something cold. Anything yeah, cold. Because we... we cold. We've had fans from like all over the world. So I've, I've never heard someone say, hey, you know what I'm saying? I'm representing Alaska. You know what I'm saying? Up here. <laughs> yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. You know what I'm saying? You know how we, we get down up here in Alaska. Shout out to the AK, saying? boy. AK. We the real AK, boy. <laughs> hey, you know what? That's crazy, bro, because that that used to be, I used to always confuse the abbreviation for Alaska and Arkansas. Uh, oh, bro. You know, you got Alaska, mm-hmm. Arkansas, Alabama, Arizona. And mm-hmm. I, I used to confuse Alaska and Arkansas. Like Arkansas, you know, Arkansas got that hard K too. So you <laughs> want to play AK in nope. Arkansas? No pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But now, nah, um, but now nah, I remember by uh, you know how I remember it's crazy. Even to this day, I remember by just mm-hmm. R Arkansas. So I remember it's AR. Wow, babe! If it worked, 
It works. Hey, I'm helping yeah. y'all, nigga. Don't don't hey. don't act like y'all ain't still spelling Mississippi. <laughs> it's just like it's just a pee pee. Like, come on, bro. Yeah. <laughs> nigga be doing that. Sometimes I do that with bananas too. Just just be a n a n a. Niggas be to spell banana nana nana ness. Nah, I mean, cool. But nah, I mean, cause it's little shit like that, bro, that you realize like, damn, bro, I forgot all this little simple thing, these simple mm-hmm. uh, teachings that I had when I was young. And a lot of people, y'all know you grow up and you learn so much, but mm-hmm. it's like so much that I didn't had to kind of bring myself back, like, damn, I forgot this. And uh yeah. kids will make you learn too, because they in elementary school and stuff now. So that helps me kind of stay back on, you know. Yeah, my knowledge, my basics. You yeah, know? yeah. So I ain't getting too out of whack. But um, I hit up uh, I put on Instagram for people to hit us with a couple topics. Um, okay, okay, and, okay. Before we get into the 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 good topics, first thing first, we want to uh, send our prayers and condolences to Ahmad Aubrey. Oh yeah, for um, sure, man. man. The this this is such a. I, I, it's tragic, but at the same time, it's one of those things where it's become so common. You know what I'm saying? Where we see stuff like this happening, and I'm sure there's a lot of this going on, and there's a lot of like it's not being recorded. You feel me? And this is another situation where apparently this happened in February earlier yeah, this man. year, and the footage just now getting leaked, and it's it's it sucks that you know what I'm saying someone of our skin color could literally be minding their own business, not causing any problems. And the fact that the fact that they stop at, you know, a house being constructed, I believe that's what the situation was. Like that he was stopped and he looked at a house being constructed or whatever. And they felt he peeped uh, at the house um, or maybe on the inside or whatever looking through the window but mm-hmm. whatever it was man he, he didn't commit a crime he wasn't bothering anybody um, mm-hmm. you know it was nothing going on man but people just feel like they want to take the law into their own hands and uh, white people got to understand bro like you know I feel like a lot of people fear us just off off rip off the strength but, mm-hmm. you know you can't use that as an excuse every time but you know we yeah we getting tired of that shit man and it's like it's, it's getting to a point now where you know we we tired of hashtagging uh black mm-hmm. men on these situations and you know where we gotta you know go against the justice system and figure out what's going on like what irritates mm-hmm. me is the fact that this happened at the end of february and only because the footage leaked is the only reason why uh, I hear that they just uh, arrested mm-hmm. the father and the son uh, and charged them now with um, uh, murder. Mm-hmm. You know, whatnot. So it's like, I think that's like the most annoying thing to me is that um, if we wouldn't have been on social media, like being as strong, and which is good because yeah. social, social media showed its good side. Um, mm-hmm. But because everybody was going in, they had to do something. But that just let you know they would have probably swept that under the rug. Yep. If and apparently, know. the father was a, a former police officer, like yeah. retired police yeah, officer. Was. So mm-hmm. yeah, a former police officer and his son, uh, they uh, they were both charged with murder and aggravated assault, which is that's cool. It's awesome. They need to, but, they need to up like, that up to a hate crime to that because you know. That's that's like come on, bro. <clears throat> they they got. But like it. you were saying, it's the timing of that is still unacceptable. And thankfully, the footage was put out and it was spread around social media because they had no other choice. Now it's like you got to do something. Oh yeah, because it was gonna get turned. It was, boy, it was about to turn up like. <clears throat> like and this is why Kaepernick was kneeling, man, because I know a lot of people that was like, oh, man, you disrespecting the flag and all that, such and such. But it's like for, mm-hmm. him, for him to get with a, a veteran, um, mm-hmm. you know, confirm what is a, um, what a is respectful, disrespectful. Or respectful mm-hmm. way to peacefully protest how he feel about the matter. And he gave mm-hmm. him something that he could do. And he did that, excuse me, peacefully. And people was just been enraged since then, and I mean that just lets you know they just wanted to, they they want to find another reason to to or excuse to mm-hmm. sidetrack us from the actual reason why he's kneeling. And this is yeah the situation right here is another reason why for people. And I put that on my Facebook. I, I found the image and I reposted it. It's like 
y'all forgot, this is why he was kneeling for stuff like this. Mm -hmm. And the fact that, mm -hmm. I mean, again, bro, it's annoying because we just found out about this and they're just not getting arrested from February. Let, right. a, yeah. let a nigga do something, bro. You breathe wrong and the nigga gonna go to jail. Like, and they'll put you in there just to hold you in there until they figure mm -hmm. out what the hell going on. So the fact that these mm -hmm. people was able to go home and, you know, to the, the comfortability of their home after doing such a, like, horrible yeah that's like yeah man. i couldn't even watch the video bro it was surfacing around yeah. man, man i just i can't bring myself to watch it man because i'm not trying to watch that no nah, no nah, that that's just that's the thing that it just it sucks because it's like we dealing with a lot right now in the world and for real man you would think you would think something like this crazy pandemic would bring even though this kind of happened like right before everything went went crazy but you yeah. would still think like we should be past the skin the skin being the issue yeah. you think in 2020 you would think that would be the least of our problems in society and still that's it's still a, a prevalent thing that people tend to ignore and racism is real you know what i'm saying uh being being judgmental of somebody because of their color, like that's not what's up. You feel me? Yeah. And one thing I want to say, and I, I don't want to just put this on black versus white, because I, I feel like Keep your mind, brother. They, I feel like there's there's room to grow in both communities. You feel me? Because oh, yeah, people course. act like uh, um, black individuals can't be racist. Yes, they can, and that's not cool either, bro. You know what I'm saying? I, I really wish. We can be get to that point one day. It'll probably be way after we long gone. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, right. I would love to get to that point where that is not the primary focus for people's hate. You know what I'm saying? Just because of skin color. You feel me? Like yeah. I just I just wish, you know what I'm saying? That wasn't a thing. But this is the world we live in. And unfortunately, this type of stuff happens. It's just this was one of the few times it got put out. And I hope they throw the book at them and lock these motherfuckers oh, away. Oh yeah, bro. They 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 need to be underneath the underneath yeah. of the jail. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, bro. Like yeah. I don't I don't condone stuff like that. And, and like I said, I don't want to just make it a race thing, but it is. It's yeah. obvious. It is what it's it is. Definitely race. Yeah, it, you know, it's it's racially charged. But at the end of the day, when even for our black, you know, our black brothers and sisters, when you start killing people. Of your own of your own skin color for stupid reasons like that yeah. to me, like you you're not part of the solution. You're part of the problem. You're part of the stereotype that people have have of us. You know, what I'm like we're so, we a super target, man. Uh, the police killing mm -hmm. us. Uh, regular white people on the street with guns can kill us. We mm -hmm. killing us. You know what yep. I'm saying? The pandemic killing us. You know what I'm saying? Like it's yep. it's like, man, we gotta open our eyes and like come together, bro. Like even all this gang shit, like all them niggas should just be like, what the hell is we doing? Like the real gangs is is on that side of the race and they mm -hmm. tagging us, you know what I'm saying? Not trying to make it a, a divide to where we beefing with mm -hmm. a race, but I'm just saying, like, if you see your people going down under and we gotta keep on hashtagging and marching and protesting and stuff like that, you gotta realize like, man, who the real thugs? You know what I'm saying? If somebody sure. able to go and pop your uh, cousin, friend, whoever it is, and still get to go home at night, you know what I'm saying? And sure. like with the Zimmerman thing, you know what I'm saying? Like not saying somebody should go in and end his life, but it's just crazy that, you know, this man was able to just do the act that he did and court said he would do it again if it if it was if it was you know if it happened, and um, he no able to move around and no, just like no no sympathy, bro. I mean he's still moving no. around, uh, causing you know crazy chaos in certain situations, causing a scene to keep itself relevant, selling a gun that he killed uh, Trayvon with, and it's like it's just sick, you know what I'm saying? And then trying to sue the family. The last time I heard, uh, for, mm -hmm. um, what is it? Image. Uh, Defamation, it, defamation, or something, something of that nature. Yeah, yeah defamation of his character or yeah, his image like, or whatever. Really, bro? Like, come on, man! And then boys just let him just move around. Man, I'm not saying do nothing to him, but it's like, man, one of the homies can do something by accident or have the wrong color on going to the store, and you gonna pop him. 
You feel me? Or mm-hmm. he owe you a few more dollars and it's his principal. Like niggas got shit twisted. You know what I'm saying? But you know, I just pray that uh, mm-hmm. you know, everybody kind of wake up, man. Cause it's it's really time to wake up. If you ain't waking up, man, with all that's going on in the world, bro, then it's time for you to hit that alarm. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's time for you to you reset your alarm because it's it's signs are being, you know, shown. Yeah. It just seemed like it's thing after thing after thing. It ain't that ain't nothing we should be taking lightly. Mm-hmm. True, you know true, true. I mean? They got goddamn fucking killer hornets out here. Mm-hmm. Uh, the no hornets. <laughs> apparently they've been around, but just the fact that yeah. they're in our country now is like I guess people didn't know about them to that to the magnitude that we do now. But mm-hmm. um, just to know how dangerous they are now, just the fact that. You know, it's it's like damn. You gotta watch out for hornet. You gotta watch out for <laughs> the corona and the hornets. They, if the corona don't get you, the hornets gonna fuck you up, boy. I'm like, hey man, you know, that picture you had uh, posted on, on, on Twitter. Dog. Twitter with the the hornet with the uh, black forces. Yeah, bro. But for those who don't get the reference of that meme, bro, anybody that got black forces on, whether they high tops, to be low tops. You can't they trust been. them, bro. They not to be Especially trusted. if they been, bro, you can't trust them. That mean they've been putting even, a lot of work in. Even if they not been, you know they about to do something, something <laughs> illegal, bro. Like, that's, it, it's a meme, but I've never seen anyone with black forces that I just like, you know what? He's trustworthy. Come yeah. on to my house. Come on to my house, you know what I'm saying? One thing you Here's do is a couple the, of dollars. The white forces are the angels, the black forces are the devils. So Yeah, bro. It's funny because I just cop some white forces too. So mm-hmm, but you didn't cop any blacks. Mm. You already you know. <laughs> oh no, nah, yeah, yeah. It's... <laughs> or maybe it's a here's my conspiracy. Maybe it's all part of a master plan to subconsciously want the white forces because they know if uh-huh. the, you get the black forces, uh-huh. you may you know, woke. Black oh, he woke, ladies and gentlemen. That boy right there is woke. See? That's a woke guy see? right there. See, see, see? I'm on to something. Don't man. trust the That's black. What... You right. Why don't we trust the black forces, but we can get the white? Mm-hmm. And the black forces are cheaper. And we still don't get them. Because I did still spend don't 90. Get them. We I still don't get the black forces. See, I'm telling you, bro. It's systematic. We own to you, Nike. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> but what are the topics you had? Uh... It's systematic. Mm-hmm. Um, so there's quite a few things on here. People kind of. Oh damn! They just wow. Um, All right. Well, yeah, they... let's, let's let's see what they talk about. Uh, what most talking. of these is kind of more like um, uh, how do you say? I would do most of these on like a video where we doing like a mukbang or something. Uh, okay, so like these, these are mukbang quality. Uh, um, somebody questions. said something in Spanish. She wrote a whole okay. question. So just let you that's, know, I'm not not bilingual, yeah. which I was. Um, I can just count to maybe about 15 <laughs> <laughs> in Spanish. He's stupid. And that's it. Um, oh, shout out to lovely thy underscore sunshine. She said, okay. um, the difference between love and happiness. Love and happiness. Make it That's the song. Uh, between lo- the difference between love and happiness. What she means yeah. just like general, I guess like just, a generalized I, I guess statement. General, like what's the difference between uh, love and happiness? Well, um, well, love can have you doing some crazy things that you think will obtain you getting happiness, true happiness. Hmm. You but, can love somebody, yeah. I get you. Yeah, you can love somebody, thinking in your mind that this is gonna bring you true joy, but it could be a situation where that love is not reciprocated. So you loving someone that don't love you back because you're trying to obtain that happiness. Because you know everybody, no matter how hard people want to be or come off, everybody wants to be loved. It's just human nature. You want to be loved. You want to, you know, have someone to care for. And vice versa. So if you loving someone, but they're not right. giving that same type of energy back, it's you know you're not. It's not equaling out. Now happiness, for example, the only thing I can think could possibly correlate with this happiness is something that you gotta automatically have within yourself. Like the happiness that you have for being 
on this earth and you know waking mm. up during the day and achieving stuff you know what i'm saying like that's something you gotta mm. have automatically no one can bring you happiness because sometimes people get into this mindset well i'm gonna stick this out you know what i'm saying because this person that's a, good, that's a good point bro that's a great point so that's the I best think, thing i can come up with no no i think that's <laughs> a great point because yeah like i think you have to i mean even when it comes to loving yourself like I don't mm-hmm. think true love or true happiness comes if you don't have that for yourself. Um, mm-hmm. And I know it's, I know she's saying the difference, but to, I mean, to me, you need both of those in mm-hmm. order to um, have a successful relationship with, mm-hmm. with somebody because, um, you know, you got to be your first everything. Like you need to learn how to love uh, mm-hmm. who you are get to know Mm -hmm. who you are understand who you are and be happy with who you are you know what i'm saying but when that's kind of the hardest thing for people to do to be happy with themselves yeah because when i mean when you think about difference i mean i guess well answering her her comment is like you can love some or somebody but you don't necessarily have the emotion of happiness you can still love somebody and hate that motherfucker at the same time you know what i'm saying or not like your situation or you mm-hmm. love somebody so much, but you're not happy in your mm-hmm. relationship that you thinking more about the consequences of leaving. So, mm-hmm. you know, your happiness is not there, but you love them. You know what I'm saying? So I guess, you know, that pretty much answers the uh, the comment. But all in all, man, I feel like you got to know, be one with yourself before you get involved with anybody else. Because I really feel mm-hmm. like that's a lot of problems nowadays. I think people just jumping into relationships just because, um, it's like a fad <laughs> mm-hmm. almost and people are just like oh, I just want to be in a relationship but it's like you haven't even grown yet you're True. a full self so now you're getting with somebody and then now you're going through your growing phases and y'all might not be growing at the same level so mm-hmm. one person may feel like they putting in more than the other because of the in, you know the imbalance that y'all have as far as growth and maturity so you know, I don't want to talk y'all, but you know what I'm saying? Me drop, <laughs> I had to drop a couple bars nah. on that one. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I get what you're talking about. I get that it, love man. and happiness is a real thing, bro. It's, just, it's a lot of people out there that's like really not happy. And, um, mm-hmm. you know, it's because one of the, one thing is they should have kind of got to know themselves first. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like they got to, they got to, they got to get here with, with this person. Yeah. You hop right in the relationship with somebody. Right here, man. Uh, I, I actually do have one topic. I was talking about it uh, last night on my live on Instagram. Shout out to everyone that be popping up in there. Uh, I had um, seen someone post on a story, and they basically kind of was like, I guess you could say, ranting about guys not being able to like do the the basics, like when it comes to like sitting down. And this is. In this person's words, setting down tile and fixing up cabinets and you know, like carpentry type type work. That but she was, said you know, that we. Well, go ahead and finish. I'm gonna, I'm yeah, gonna... she was basically saying, like, you know, what I'm saying if we're going with gender roles, there's not many men out there doing that type of stuff. You know, what it must have skipped a generation, and it's one of those type of things where it's like, uh. I'm gonna be honest and keep it a buck. You feel me? If a chick ain't trying to rock with me because I can't build a goddamn house in 60 days or some shit, then it ain't gonna work. 60 days. That's I, 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 I'm, I'm gonna let you know right now. I'm not building a house because that's not something that, you know, I, <laughs> you know, was thinking about doing as a kid. Now, not to say that, you know, our, our parents or even our grandparents, of course, that was more, that was a different time period. So, right. of course, more of like, you know, physical housework and stuff like that. That was more regularly like the thing because it was like, you either got to fix it yourself or you got to pay a lot of money for somebody else to fix it. So, a lot of people was good with their hands, you know what I'm saying? That was a different time period. Now, you literally can have someone bring some food to your door that's not fast food. It could be a restaurant, you know what I'm saying? So we live in a different time period. And 
my counter argument in my head I wanted to bring this out okay it's counter like, argument is like okay if we're going with that the traditional gender roles then what about women being able to cook and clean and all this other stuff there's some mm. women out there that don't cook and there's I'm not I'm not slighting them True. I'm not gonna overlook them like oh you don't cook there may be a situation where they own some CEO type stuff they don't be at home to cook because they always travel you a chef you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying there's some women that you know have their own business and when they get home they they hire somebody to cook for them they just right. they have that luxury does that make them less of a woman I don't think so not for me personally you know I don't think that makes you less of a woman I think that's just the environment that you in so I kind of want to get your opinions on that because I found it that's quite crazy. uh extreme to be like you know saying oh it must have skipped the generation because you know I don't see guys out there doing that but if you're a guy you know saying you know how to do those type of things hit me up that's interesting I mean um so I'm I, well I guess I'll take it here um the skipping generation part is interesting because what you learn from your father what your father knows probably usually passed on down to you mm -hmm. and generation wise uh, I think the need for you having to build your own house became less and less as you know industries bloomed the world expanded mm -hmm. people turned certain things into a business um, I don't think you were just able to you know hit somebody up online like hey who fixed driveways <laughs> who did yeah. Who do the, uh, the the lawn and stuff like that, or who um, mm -hmm. raises cattle? You know what I'm saying? Because that's the thing mm -hmm. too. You know, when we're talking about raising farm animals, cooking your own food, women were gardening mm -hmm. and raising. You know, pretty much uh, having their own garden for like fruits, vegetables, and all that kind of stuff. So um, mm -hmm. you can't just look at one gender as in did it skip a generation? Because it was a lot of things. Women were sewing. A lot of women don't know how to sew. You know what I'm saying? And that's, true not saying a particular person has to do a certain thing but if we're going yeah. on back in the day i wouldn't say just direct anything towards a specific gender because times change man i mean and then one one powerful thing is my dad man my dad told me uh because he was a man that worked a lot with his hands and he was a mechanic he did roofing and all mm -hmm. that kind of stuff and i didn't have interest in trying to fix a car now that's something i would try to get dudes to know how to fix in the car yeah. Thankfully, yeah. he's still here to still help me, and I'm learning more now since he's with me. But I remember him telling me, like, man, I, I worked all my life, like, doing heavy physical work. Uh, so that way you wouldn't have to, you know what I'm saying? Because now the computer exists more, mm -hmm. and it's more prevalent now than what it was back in the 60s and 70s. So um, he was like, mm -hmm. if you can make money in two, three times what people was of my time by doing something on the computer and creating something, why not do that? Why why throw your back out for, you know what I'm saying, uh, mm -hmm. so many years and then you kind of like good for nothing at a certain age. So mm -hmm. um, I'll just say certain trades is cool um, if you're interested in knowing them, but I wouldn't, you know, talk down on a gender for not being able to do something because yeah. like you said, it's, it's a lot of women that if we're going towards the uh, quote unquote things that were gender specific, a lot of women don't, don't, wash don't uh <laughs> peel certain foods and just mm -hmm. have it fresh um don't iron um mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying like do laundry and stuff like that and whatnot so i know how to hey, hire somebody pants. yeah yeah or they bring it to the cleaners or something you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so you know i wouldn't it's not a specific gender it's just the world's moving at a different at a different time so mm -hmm. um, but I do like the fact that if you want to learn how to do something, you can learn just about anything yeah. um, that you're interested in. But me specifically, I don't know how to build a house. So yeah, I don't. I don't think that even I, if I YouTube it, how to build a house. Yeah, no. Nah, I'm I, sure there's a video up there, but uh, you know, I'm a, I'm gonna fuck up on the foundation mm -hmm. part. <laughs> so what you say? What? <laughs> what you what say? Did you, wait, wait, rewind that shit. Oh damn, got the concrete <laughs> on the damn phone. Hurry, wipe it off before it dry up. But no. Nah, uh, <laughs> Nah, because I mean, that's a, but again, I've built things before, you know, from mm -hmm. specific things that I wanted. Like one thing about me, when I want to do something, I'll figure mm -hmm. out how to do that motherfucker and I'll do it. But yeah, I don't really sit on, I don't know. I think nowadays I'm like 
cautious of all the shit I just take in as unnecessary. Like I'm mm. not gonna build houses, so <laughs> I'm I'm not, good. I'm I'm cool on that. Yeah. No offense to anyone. Hey, if you can, that's fucking dope. You will always have some work to do because people need houses built all the time. And somebody yeah, is for everybody, bro. Like if mm-hmm. a female got on her, you know what I'm saying, black planet that you must know how to build such and such or be a handyman. There's somebody out there for you. It's somebody out there for you. You feel me? So more power to you. <laughs> now, um, to expound on what you were talking about earlier, I do. There is one thing I do think all men at some point should know how to do. And it's really basic. It's changing a tire. I feel like it, yeah. something is simple. More things that. with the car. I, I feel like more things yeah. with the car, less house. More yeah. things with the car, a man should yeah. have some type of mind. Because if, say you driving, you know what I'm saying, down 290, that's not completed and it's been worked on for the past 10 years, 10 years. Over no, I'm me. actually being serious, bro. I literally, 290's been worked on since I went to college. I you went telling to college me that? No, no. I know that. You yeah. must be telling yeah. the people that I'm ain't from them, here. I'm telling the people that, yeah. It's a freeway in Houston that's been being worked on for over 10 years. But, you know, they be having tools, nails and stuff. You say your shit, just go flat. You got your girl with you. You know what I'm saying? And... You know what I'm saying? You got the triple A. You feel on oh, one side, you don't even have the triple A. Say you don't have triple A because you never thought it would happen to you. You ain't got the triple A. And you just sitting there and you looking at her, she looking at you. What we about to do, bro? Yeah, that's that's not a good look right there. That's, that's not a good and then look. she get out that car and start jacking that shit. <laughs> bro. Is it some things? Home. It's some things you, you gotta, gotta know. Walk okay, now that's different because it's it's some things you gotta know how to do for survival. Like you driving mm-hmm. your car ninety percent of the time. You know what I'm saying? You certain some people, you some guys don't know how to do it though. No, but I'm saying like that versus building a house. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. When, you know what I'm saying? What are the odds? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I would I would lean situation. more towards this house, nigga. Yeah, like this. this <laughs> highly unlikely that you'll ever need to know that skill so um Mm -hmm. but you drive your car every damn day you know what i'm saying so Mm -hmm. you need to have some type of knowledge of how to you know what i'm saying do something when it comes to your vehicle but um yeah you're right man it's a lot of dudes that don't know um and again you still can find out if you want to what's up man what's going on oh yeah i have to resync my airpods man apple i'm on to you I know what you guys are doing. Oh. See, my left AirPod, it's something wrong with it. It keeps dying super quick. My right AirPod, AirPod is good. I know what you. So we're gonna be so we're gonna be AirPod I'm, gang today. I mean, this is the best way I can hear you. You know what I'm saying? I know I'm on to you, Apple, bro. Do Apple it. does this all the time. They basically make an old product obsolete and they force you to buy the new product. This is the first generation AirPods. These are the ones that came out and everybody thought boys was looking stupid until the niggas started buying them all. Very first, this was the very first generation. And now these hoes is going out. Well, at least my left one. I'm on to you. I'm not doing it, bro. I'm not paying you an extra 30. How much is it? It's $60 for one bud. I'm not doing it, bro. I'm not doing it. So if Damn, I have to keep taking my like... left one out, charging it up, I'm cool. I'm cool. Mine uh is um lagging behind when you talk. What? My AirPod. Oh, for real? Yeah. Oh well, you may have to go with the default. Well, uh, I was uh, trying to be AirPod microphone. game, man. I'm trying to I'm trying to be AirPod game, my guy. Man, no, man. I don't um, know. Yeah. You say it in real time, right? I'm good. <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> you stupid, man. So. But yeah, like, uh, I feel like you just, fellas out there, there's certain basic stuff that you need to know, you know what I'm saying? And women, there's certain basic stuff y'all need to off. be able to know as well, you feel me? Yeah, I think it's, it's dope that women know how to change a flat tire just in case. There's nothing wrong with that. Like, if I had yeah, like my, my sister, my sister, one of my sisters know how to do it. Um, She, she, she knows how to change the oil and all that. Uh, she's yeah. probably better with the car than I am. She thinks she is. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> nah, but again, bro, once I need to, like, I didn't have to fix, um, some shit on my, my Jeep, uh, at one point in time. And 
When, when mm-hmm. I need to figure it out, I'm going to figure it out. And I did it all by myself. I went and got the right tools and all that, and I did it. Mm-hmm. So, again, that's, that's, that's me, though. Not everybody like that. Sometimes people need, you know what I'm saying, training for years. Everybody ain't gifted. Yeah, but no, nah, um, so I was on Twitter, bro, and um, nigga, I'm I'm looking and scrolling, and then uh, I see this video where this chick, uh, in like a bathing suit or whatever, is uh, oh, sound good, sound good, so having good. her. Well, take it easy, take a seat back. So she okay. basically had her daughter on the pole, mm-hmm. climbing up the pole. Oh, well. I seen that video. Uh, and um. Yeah. She was like yeah. spinning around on it and then holding the daughter oh. down. So actually, it was actually a lot of controversy behind that because you know you got people on one side telling them, "Bro, she shouldn't be doing that. It's unnecessary. Look at her outfit." And I think everybody was kind of agreeing somewhat on the, the lady's outfit being a little bit out of line. But some people, mm-hmm. oh y'all just don't know. Um, why do you sexualize everything? And you know, the pole is for more than just you know something for sexual representation it's it's exercise there's much more to it she's teaching her how to do her things and wait you know the thing that was killing me we used to have these at our park when we was little and i just personally don't remember having a pole just going straight up and down you know what i'm saying the uh, pose where you play uh what's that sport that with, I, with it's not ball? even a sport yeah with the ball around yeah, the pole t- I, 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 yeah that's the ball in my head. i forgot, I what forgot it was. the name of it but yeah, yeah, I don't. That, I that's thought the only that, pole. Yeah, I never knew. You know what I'm saying? And you got the monkey bars and shit, but it's like mm-hmm. I never knew it was just a pole. You know, just there. But um, yeah, it was a it was a real heavy debate, and a lot of women was really like, "Y'all need to stop sexualizing everything." Wish you <sighs> okay. Mm. Look, I'm gonna keep it. A what's buck, your What's your take I'm, on that, my guy? Man, I'm gonna keep it a buck. I get the exercise part and no all I'm, I'm being honest yes there is some strength you have to have some type of core strength and there are classes where women go take those classes just you know what I'm saying as a, another form of exercise but let's let's keep it a buck here man when you think of poles like that and you think of women half naked on there it's it's not just for exercising purposes all the time the first thing you think of is a strip club and I'm sorry if I have a daughter, I'm not in no form, way, or fashion would I ever just have my toddler or my little daughter up on the pole. No. There's other ways to do exercise. There's other things that we yeah. can be doing. And I'm definitely not, hey, baby, you go up that pole. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, bro. I, I, you that's get up not, there. That's, that's not what I'm doing, bro. You can do the same thing by having her climb rope. Good. Have a climb rope that builds up a body strength. Like, you got a point there. Just be you posting, point. and then you just be posting shit, just to post shit, because they know it's gonna be controversial, and they know there's gonna be be people that's gonna not agree, and then it'll give them the the uh, the ammo to hit the. Why oh, are you sexualizing? Why can't women? Why can't women this? Why can't women? Like, girl, you can do whatever you want. But when you post it on a public forum, it's gonna don't be, be surprised it's gonna be. when niggas be like, yo, fam, CPS, yo, what's, we, we got some issues over here, cuz. Yeah. You yeah. can't be mad at that, bro. Like, All I gotta, it, it just wasn't for me. You know, I can't. It's not for me, about, man. Can't tell nobody how to it. parent. You know, I can, I can hope for the best. And people parents it's, it's, it's not for me it's just it nope. i mean nope. i don't i just don't nope. see i'm not gonna let my daughter do that and i don't give a fuck what is what the type of exercise they claim it is for as a hey, father <laughs> as a <laughs> father because <laughs> i don't know now one dude in my car log that i just hang around that would see that being okay if they have a daughter oh yeah that's cool though. yeah i personally <laughs> don't Personally, I'm speaking for me. I personally don't know. Just seeing it, like you just ain't trying to see no shit like that. And I never want to see my daughter on no pole like that. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. is again, it's a plenty of, they got ropes. Like you said, I forgot about the rope, little warm house and PE. Like um you you can climb the ropes and, and get that same type of uh, exercise in. Mm-hmm. Um, or you can do some pull ups, man. Get on the pull up yeah, it's, bar. It's, That's it's a bar. For me. But this it was is, just it was just funny because bar. I feel like women always try to go the why do you sexualize everything route? And it's just like, 
it's, it's kind of getting tiring now because it's like, you know, women, some women think we men are just dogs, <laughs> and, and a lot dogs. of men are, but it's just like at the same time, <laughs> we're logical dogs, though. You know what I'm saying? We're, just, we're, just we're dogs, logical. Dogs. We see some ass <laughs> we like. Like this, this we're logical dog. Well, men are logical dogs. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> niggas see something. If, if I see something for what I see it, you know what I'm saying? If you if you if you claim to be classy and all that, you're gonna show me that. If you want to look like a hoe, you're gonna show me that. But why I gotta look like a hoe? Why I can't express? Well, yourself, whatever you want to call it. I'm just yeah. trying to tell you. You ain't walking like that up in no corporate meeting, right? You ain't going to work with that, right? So but why we, why we can't? Try it. No, bro. Try it. You'll be in unemployment. Argue with me all day. You'll be in the unemployment call just like everybody else. Like, but that's discrimination. Like, why? I don't make the rules. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, why would you... Society. Yeah, <laughs> I'm telling and you, that's actually a true representation an of an argument. They have, they, they just have. Oh my God. Yeah, the feminist group is just like they over, they overwhelm me. You know what I'm saying? And even for me to be a, a married father of three with a daughter, they overwhelm me. Like I just look at it and I'm like, bro, why? It just doesn't make sense. Like I don't want my daughter moving. Like I'm gonna push against the line as much as I can. And you can't judge me or have anything to say. Like, why do that? That's like me wrapping the flag around my damn neck and walking in the blood neighborhood or crypt na- neighborhood right there. Tell me some. Oh, I'm a blood. Why am I blood? They sell these at, at the uh, beauty salon. They definitely not gonna ask no questions, bro. Why do you think they, I'm a blood? Just because I, you know what I'm saying? So they they try to straddle the fence on so much and. When niggas respond how they know niggas are gonna respond, they get to disputing it. I mean, they get to arguing and debating. It. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, ah, man, I just turn. Yeah. It's 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 literally turn. You know that's why we're yeah. gonna get a, a a lady on here one of these episodes to make it make sense to us because we know a few of them. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So um, we'll see who who can make it make sense. But I, I don't I don't get it. I don't. Me neither. I don't, I don't think I ever get it, and I'm I'm not trying to because it just it just it racks my brain, and I'm trying to it's keep me. my energy to myself. I ain't trying to even go down that wormhole of that. What are you talking about? I just hit boys with the that's crazy. <laughs> that's yeah. Crazy. Um. Wow. You really feel that way? That's crazy. Well, you have a nice. I know day. is certain people <laughs> end up real lonely. Later on in life, by being that, having that that mm-hmm. attitude, and you so hardened, like your heart is, your your you know everything about you, your structures, everything is so hardened to just you know logic, and you just think you know it all, and you end up being by yourself for quite some time with a few cats, and yeah. <laughs> then all niggas ain't yeah. nothing. No, you can't find a good man. You know what I'm saying? Now when niggas is forty and shit, and, you know settling down or should have been settled down now you now you want somebody now you now you kicking them uh them you know them standards you had and they starting to go mm-hmm. down further and further the older you get so um that's a I just uh topic we um, gotta get a female in on yeah definitely at some point someone that's that will be able to see so, both sides of the fence and we can have a nice little debate but I just seen this say both somebody sides. post this yeah, I just seen someone post this on Facebook who was just talking about uh, the 2020 uh, NFL schedule was just released. Mm-hmm. And someone posted, just seen the text in the schedule. I got to start in the year at three and seven. That's sad because we do have like a tough schedule. We play uh, the Chiefs first week one. Mm-hmm. And then week two, we play Baltimore. We're champs. That's not even fair, bro. I'm like, And then week three, we play the Steelers. And then week four, we play the Vikings. Our beatable game is week five, Jacksonville Jaguars. And then even that one's tough now. And then week six, we play the Titans. They got a running game. Week seven, Packers. You know, I just pray because, you know, we we um 
we still <sighs> recovering from this this wonderful decision they made. I hope they lose all of them. That way, Damn. get rid of the coach. <laughs> I don't care. Damn, no, bro. bro. The way you I came did. out with that, bro, like, you've been holding that in for a long time, huh? Bro, if we tank, at least he's out of here, bro. They got to let him go then, right? I don't want that, to, I don't want that for Deshaun, bro. Like, I get it, bro. It's I know. A, it's a, it's That's a, the only thing. That I, want Deshaun hate situation. To, I want Deshaun to win, but I don't want them to be like, well, Bill O'Brien has done it again, done nothing. He's done a goddamn thing. No, bro. So I don't know. We will see. But the schedule is looking pretty damn tough for your boys. So uh, we will it see. Be, it how could be a good are. thing. You know what I'm saying? It could be a we, chance for us to show that, hey, man, we, we belong here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So if they can pull off some wins, cool. Um, I just, when it comes to Bill happening. O'Brien. I get you. Yeah. I, 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 I want to be optimistic. I just... Last season, for those who don't know, when uh, we, what game was that? Was it the uh, AFC? It was the AFC Wild Card game, first round. Yeah, it was the first round because I think we had a bye week, if I'm not mistaken. When we had a bye week uh, this past season, we had a bye week. If I'm not mistaken, I think we had a bye week, and then we played Kansas City. And I don't remember. I'll never forget. You remember, we was blocked out. We was doing so good. We was doing so good, bro. We was, we was, we was doing it. And that one play where he didn't go for it on fourth and one, oh, yeah, that yeah. to me was the deciding factor. And fun fact, uh, my homie Steve, shout out to Steve. Uh, he actually was like, before when we beat Kansas City earlier that season, Bill O'Brien wasn't running the offense. It was our offensive coordinator. And then when at the beginning, I think at the be I think at the beginning of the game, that he was going to run the offense and he was running it for a little bit, but then Bill O'Brien took over. And once Bill O'Brien took over, that's when shit went down the track. They said he's not gonna be running it this season. Yeah, yeah. They said he they're gonna give it to the offensive coordinator. Uh I forgot his name. I gotta gotta look it up. But they said uh, the games that we won, like when we was blowing out people, that's the games where the offensive coordinator was actually running the offense, not Bill O'Brien. And it's like, all right, well, I mean, oh, I don't, I don't got, I don't need nothing to to, to convince me Bill O'Brien not who who it is. Um, no. I know he's not, and I don't need no nah. convincing. So, <laughs> yeah, we will see if he lives by that. We will see, but the schedule is looking tough. If we able to at least win two out of those three games, I'm I'm okay with that. <laughs> I'm okay with that. I, I would love for us to beat Kansas City because that would be a great start. Previous Super Bowl champs, that would be a great start. But uh, we'll see how that play out, man. I'm, we shall see, man. I'm, I'm hoping for the best. But again, man, um, yeah, you can only hope and pray. Wish and hope because uh, it is the Texans. We've been you know doing that. Yes. Um, yeah, we've been doing that for years. Homie Kenzo Brian. asked, "How are we uh, investing money during the Corona? What is your maintainability while unemployed?" Um, I'm employed. I'm working from home, and uh, mm-hmm. you know, just grinding on here on YouTube and mm-hmm. stuff, man. And that's pretty much, you know, just having multiple streams of revenue. Yeah, 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 yeah. surviving. So, yeah. <clears throat> I'm out here selling drugs, so. Yeah, yeah cause you you did rub your nose when you said it, so we know you on that booger sugar. I don't do my own product, man. So I, I mean, nah, I hear you. Nah, 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 show did. I never do you my show own scratched product, when bro. you said it, man. Uh, nah, bro. Can't do my own product, cause I ain't gonna. Am I gonna pay myself? Nah, bro. So yeah, I'll be out here selling. Let me chill out for niggas coming this up. FBI, open up. We heard you, nigga. Oh, that nigga. Nah, he looked for real. Oh, he was shit. looking for real to make sure. Oh, shit. Oh shit! You gonna bust through that window open right up there? The window. Open up the window. Blondie, open up the window. Cough on him. Cough on him, Blondie. <laughs> nah, um, shit. I actually haven't been working like at a job job for about a good month. YouTube has been uh, holding me afloat, so I hey. can't complain there. That's lit. I can't complain there, man. So stepping in, stepping into that world of you know, yeah, being, being yeah. jobless like for somebody else. Yeah, yeah, so. That's but that's really been a blessing. Save so. for people that you know maintain the maintainability is uh, 
Saving. Saving, my guy. Like, just cut out unnecessary spending if you can't do it. Um, mm-hmm. making don't sure spend you, it. Yeah, don't. And this is my single mind used to be like my dad used to say, if you can't buy it, you can't buy it twice, don't buy it. You know what I'm saying? So that's another thing. You know what I'm saying? When you buy something, be mm-hmm. like, mm, can, could I afford to buy this again? I think today's economy economy probably up to three times, but we can stick yeah, with two. Yeah, you probably. We can stick with two. Yeah, <laughs> stick with two. Yeah. But what if you can buy it twice? Can you buy it three times? Now. It's yourself. Keep now. pushing yourself. Can you buy it four mm-hmm. times? Mm. You know nigga, what I'm saying? You, nigga, I can't buy it once. What you talking about, nigga? I'm going home. <laughs> Uh, you, go. you shouldn't even be talking. You shouldn't even be in the store. Go your ass home. Where your mask at, nigga? <laughs> but now, um, the homie send the base guard. Shout out to the homie. He said, yeah, why, yeah, does females, why does females play the good guys? Because <sighs> they're idiots and they're dumb and their thoughts. I'm just playing. <laughs> that was a real answer, ladies and gentlemen. No, Don't let Ross swear. fool you talking about that was I'm a joke. That was a I'm real ass answer. Swear. No, it wasn't. The last time to give a fuck about a lot. No, you, you serious, uh, ladies and no, gentlemen. No, I'm fucking, bro. You I'm serious as hell. Nah, bro. I definitely wasn't serious. Nah, um, I think women, they just, sometimes they don't really know what they really want. They say they want something, but that may not be actually true. You feel me? Like, they'll be a good guy this for you. True. You know what I'm saying? And they'll be right there in your face. And, you know, do you right, you know, be there for you, support you, all this other stuff. And but it's it's not as appealing as a nigga that guy, you know, ain't doing like he, he doing some other shit. Like he ain't really showing you attention, but you, you like his swag, you like his demeanor, you know what I'm saying? You like that he ain't really nice to you, kind of mean to you. Like women like that type of shit. You yeah, motherfucker, shut your ass down like I said. Eat your food <laughs> right now. You shit. stupid. Don't make me swing on you. Eat that shit right now. Boy, that's yeah, that's, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. <laughs> and women actually get turned on by that. I mean, I don't know. I just it depends you on what you flown. mean about a good guy. Are you a good nerd? I think you should just find somebody in your lane. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking mm-hmm. about what your interest in all that too. Because we be wanting the baddies, bro. But a lot of times, some of the baddies be wanting these roughnecks. You know what I'm saying? So, um. Mm-hmm. I got I'm, you know, praying for you guys out there. You know what I'm saying? I got mine, so I'm cool. Um, you know, I got a little bit of hood with me. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm a good guy with hood knowledge. You know what I'm saying? Kinda. I think they want to balance of both. Yeah, like, you don't want to be too to. good, bro. Because that's the thing. If you like one of those too good to the point where you like a pushover, nah, it's not gonna work. Yeah, you gotta. They you feel gotta, like they can control you or you know handle you. You gotta be. Yeah, you gotta have that like. I'm good, you know what I'm saying? I'm knowledgeable. You know, I ain't on no crash dummy shit. But at the same time, like, you got all mine. I'm going to let your ass know. I'm like, straight that shit up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. Who said, go clean that pot? I had a, I had a, a, a chick tell me that, like, like, I was like, I guess I wasn't giving a reaction that she thought I would. So I was just on some, like, I don't know, fuck type shit. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. And she low-key like this. <laughs> She was like, what the fuck, bro? Like, oh, you wasn't was, made to push. Oh, you was on some gangster yeah. shit. I just didn't give a fuck. I was like, oh, that's crazy. Whatever. <laughs> like, I just Ooh, didn't care. Say that again. It wasn't... Say that's crazy. <laughs> say that ever again. Say forget you. <laughs> yeah, they... Forget you. Oh. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> but no, nah, it's, it's like I said, it's, it's a fine balance, man. It's just making sure that you're not in a situation where you just... <clears throat> coming off as a pushover. If you're assertive, if you let it be known, your interests off top, and I think, I wish more women that say that they want that, really want that, because a lot of women say, we want guys to be honest. You really, 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 really don't. <laughs> you don't. We all know that's some bullshit. But if you, you, sure if about you that? really true, yeah, you sure about that? I, I, like, being just assertive and honest with yourself, like, look, this is what it is. I like you. It's go out, boom, 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 if you down, you down, if you not cool, you know what I'm saying, I keep it moving, boom, simple, simple, man, you know what I'm saying, that can go a, a long ways with a lot of women, you don't have to be thirsty, for the love of God, please don't be thirsty, Damn, please don't feel be some thirsty, way about that thirst shit, speak on that thirst yeah. shit, bro, speak on uh, that thirst, 
thirsty. Niggas be thirsting, bro. Like, there's a there's a way to flirt with a chick without being thirsty, bro. You I don't, I, I, don't I dislike women flirt with females via open comments. Like on some. What you mean, women? You talking about men flirting with females? Yeah, when they be like, "Oh my god, I lick your elbows," and they in a comment, I'm just like, "Bro, that's not gonna make her DM you, bro." Like, especially when it's nine hundred and ninety nine other niggas doing the same doing shit. The same doing. Thing. You just a tadpole in the in the bunch, like you know what I'm saying? Just like, just hit the double tap. Yeah, um, just keep scrolling, bro. If you're going to do anything, DM you, her. But yeah, shoot the shot in the DM. Bro. Don't be on That's that. That's your best bet. Because you look garbage, especially when they don't respond because they don't respond because they that they feeds they that ego. They get it all the time. Yeah, they yeah. hit it all the time. And that feeds their ego. And they just, you know what I'm saying? They keep rolling. Yeah. Yeah. Another nigga that says the same thing. Uh-huh. Got mm-hmm. these niggas. Where are all the, where's the niggas that's different? Where are you niggas at? They ain't no DMs. And they still hey, sound sounded hey. weak in the DMs, too. Yeah, nah, for real. Dude. Girl, I, I didn't expect this to get here. Like, you really, you really messaging me? And it's just like, oh, my buddy, God. Buddy, you got to have a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? When a chick keeps like your, your comment in the DMs and don't say nothing, bro, just leave it at that. Yeah, leave it at that. Leave it at that, bro. Don't, leave it. don't be like, so... Uh, <laughs> Not the soul, damn, bro. Not the soul, yeah. damn. The soul, yeah. I, it's, it's out there, bro. It's yeah. out there. Niggas, niggas nah, be yeah. doing that shit. So, but females. Oh, one thing I will to? say, females is like hella confusing because, especially on social media, like just me being able to peep for this last month and some, like women mm-hmm. really like. I know some that just be on there like, where you at? Where my next man at? Why can't I get into a relationship? Where the good man at? Da, 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 da. Man, single as fuck. And, you know, posting all the memes and comments as relating to them being single. But the minute yeah, somebody man. try to shoot they shot at them, oh, no, nah, I'm good. And all this and all that. And it's just like, <laughs> it's not just once, but it's all the time. You reject everybody, but then you, you want to take in a relationship and you're looking for one so they, they're looking for something specific that's what they're is. confused and they're gonna that's specifically true. be old as hell and again you don't gotta look for nobody on social media so i'm not saying oh mm-hmm. you gotta talk to every nigga that says something to you but you know mm-hmm. what i'm saying like just stop putting yourself out there like that you know what i'm saying because sure. the more you keep ex- you know expressing single and i want attention niggas is gonna give mm-hmm. you attention and then you want to mm-hmm. act like you don't want the attention so you know, don't don't confuse yourself. Mm-hmm. True, true, true. Just dropping yeah. gems over there. Speaking my piece, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Just, just speaking speaking it seems like work. I'm trying to, <laughs> trying to give niggas the formula, you feel me, to, yeah, yeah, yeah. to get into a secure secured bag of a situation. But, um, no, nah, we, we really hit some good, dope topics. Um, mm-hmm. I can't wait for us to do the next one because, again, we got we to gotta find that counterpart to where you know, I want to hear some good arguments. You know what I'm saying? So, oh, no, for sure. Some, you need some good debates going in. Some here, good man. ideologies on why. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Certain yeah, yeah, yeah. do things the way they do. Um, mm-hmm. Because, you know, it just doesn't make sense to us. <clears throat> but, again, as men, we're logical, so it's not meant to make sense. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> we're the thinkers here. You feel me? Shout out to my gods. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah, uh, uh, appreciate y'all for joining folks for sure for sure um appreciate y'all for tuning in appreciate y'all for checking this if you made it to the end of this mug make sure you definitely hit a thumbs up down below let us know in the comments below some other things that y'all would probably like us to hit on when we get somebody mm-hmm. to join in and um i'm even thinking we mm-hmm. should probably i don't know if when but i want to do a special podcast if we still zoom in we can um get different subscribers in um okay I don't know how we would That'd do that. That'd be cool. Un-awkward. Oh, because you have to, yeah. So, We'd have to uh, damn near screen them before because yeah. oh, right, some, some of y'all niggas be weird, bro. We on some like whoa type shit, boy. Yeah. We be on live with y'all. Y'all be on some deep, 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 deep. 
type yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, we have some weird shit sometimes. So we, we have might to we eat. might start like off it. by uh, getting like Ross mentioned, um, the homie Chisel. We might go ahead and mm-hmm. uh, try to get him definitely. on the Zoom. Yeah, 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 yeah. We definitely got to get Chisel on there. I think boys, yeah. I think boys will rock with that real tough, man. Oh, so boys will to, be lit. I think, I think that'll be. It. I think we got to get Chisel on here, man. So yeah, if y'all man. want us to get Chisel on the next podcast. Comment down below. Hit up Chisel. Random likes. Hey up. man. Yeah, random likes up. Hit up Chisel. Hey, Cush Squad. Can you use your services. <laughs> and you know what? We might, we might, if anything, instead of the weirdos, we probably do YouTubers. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. Have some Zoom, some Zoom YouTube uh uh podcast popping. Mm-hmm. That would be pretty lit, man. Get some get some names up in this mug. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking forward to it. But now, nah, uh, appreciate you guys for joining again. Like I said before, make sure you run up them likes. Uh, it's your boy Dub and it's your boy Ross, man. It took too long, but I don't know how the because there's the delay. Yeah, it's a delay. Yeah, so it's a delay. It, it went together. <laughs> okay, when I'm watching it back, it went together. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. But now, nah, uh, appreciate y'all, boys, man. Much love. Stay safe out there in this quarantine <laughs> world, ladies and gentlemen. For so. <laughs> He's stupid.